Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Knott. Today we're going to play Kathy Rain, A Detective is Born. We're going to start the story. Let's play, shall we? Hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. <laughs> I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So... I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. Yes. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Yeah, he is was my grandfather. I really don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a kid a lifetime ago. Let's just be yeah, honest. Yeah, he is was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Hmm. Oh, well, I uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen, seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're going to help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. <laughs> I know. That's it. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. What? Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Just dropping it on us like that? Hey, grandfather died. Gotta be there tomorrow. And we're a little drunk. September 25th, 1995, day one. Oh, God, make it stop. Hey, I'll click on it. Over there. Turn off alarm clock. Look at alarm clock. Well, let's go turn it off. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. Ugh. I'm so getting a new roommate. I would. You two are like total opposites. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Let's look at her bed. Mess up the bed? Yeah, we're gonna mess it up. <laughs> would be fun, but a bit too childish. Even for me. What? Alright, let's steal something. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Uh, sure you can. Let's look at look at the Eileen's closet. closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Oh, uh, one of those people. What does that mean by using the closet? I can certainly closet? see the appeal of blindly rummaging through Eileen's clothes, but seriously, I've got better things to do. Alright, you're not gonna have fun with me? Then we'll stop messing around. We could log into some naughty websites on the computer. Why would I just think about it? Let's use it. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Nerd. All right, let's just go. She's not playing along with us. We're just going to go to the funeral and be mad about it. Oh, yeah. This is, an, this is Iowa, clearly. Um, cemetery. Am I doing anything while we're here? Alright, let's just go to the cemetery. Here we go. Yep. God, I really need a smoke. 
Does anyone object? <laughs> Guess not. Dead people rule. Hell yeah. Surprised we don't hang out at the the cemetery more often. Let's check out some tombstones. No so, time for that now. I'm oh, late for the funeral. Just kidding. Let's go to the mausoleum. It says price. No reason to go in there. What do we have? We got a notebook, stun gun, Zippo lighter, and a pack of cigarettes. All right. So where do I go? Oh, I can just click to make her move. Yeah, that makes sense. Go to the funeral. Ah, uh, here we are. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. This grandmama? Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, Anne? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. She looks so disconcerted Oh, how I wish about Joseph it. could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting In thought, heaven. dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. We jump in. Think about it, look at it. Let's think Rest about it. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. Don't you hate that awkward, like, early goodbye and then you end up sitting there for a while? Let's just do that. Hey, Grandma. Thought I was gonna leave, but here I am. We're gonna look at the it. The coffin is lowered, but the grave hasn't been filled up yet. Clearly. All right. Can we look at tombstones now? Oh, yeah. Elizabeth Parker. Eric Mitchell. What? 75, 76. 75. Everyone's dying in the 70s. What's happening here? Oh, there you go. 95. Oh, yeah, doink. That's our grandfather. Makes sense. 1992. Wait, who's that? Stephen Cummings. David Spielman. Benjamin Hayward. Eleanor Foy. I'm... Very interested in who's buried here. I don't know why. Can we go in here now? No reason to go in there. Buzzkill. All right, let's just go back. Oh. It's the priest who performed the service here. Yes. Okay. You don't want to get me started. Let's just say me and the humble servants of God have a history of not getting along. So we're just going to walk past him without saying anything? I'm right. sorry for oh. your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. What are you implying? What makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Exactly, that's what I just thought. 
You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause, are you? No, we can't admit that. No sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? Okay, no sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? Hacha. And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Comfort this is what I'm totally thinking right now. But never would say. Oh, so we can, oh, we can just drive to where we want. Let's go to the rain residence. Because they'd be stupid to go back to the cemetery. Grandma, anybody home? Hmm, the red horse. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. Uh. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. hey -o. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. As humor hides my grief. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Tell the truth, you had her committed to a mental institution. Avoid the subject, no reason to bring it up now. I'm guessing that's our mother? Let's just go right at her. Mom is... Yeah. I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. I think don't of their know grandma. what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word, forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Wait. Thank you, dear. What the hell ha actually happened? Incident in 1980. Or, Why do you think yeah. Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. PTSD. What did the doctor say? What about the police? Let's go with doctors. Like, is it like, what? What do the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. 
The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I know what it is, Grandma. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. Okay, so... From what I'm gathering, either he had an injury, or whatever this thing is, left, and the accident occurred, and he came back as a vegetable. Or he left, normal, something happened, and he came back as a vegetable. So I was hoping the doctors would explain what prompted him leaving. Okay, let's do... What about the police? What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Wait, we just visit our grandmother for the first time, and we're leaving within the first ten minutes? Come on. Didn't even take a sip of tea. Alright. So, we've gone through that. Well, gotta go, Grams. Oh. Talk to you later. Alright. Bye, Kathy. Nice seeing you first time in 15 years. We're just gonna leave. I do want to see what book she has, though. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the nice, looks of it. Noise, noise, noise. Alright, let's go. I could go look at Grandpapa on the wall, but... Let's check out this wheelchair. No, we're not gonna walk ride in it. Actually, well, we said we did and we didn't before, it so It was let's... a joke, you know. Okay. Fine. Let's think about it. I wonder why it. Grandpa ended up in that thing. Yeah, like, Grandma's story was kind of fishy. Let's, uh, look These at it. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Okay, let's make a call. Yeah, her story was kind of fishy in the sense that he just leaves and comes back as a vegetable. Didn't ask too many questions, it just happened that way. We don't have anything in there. Might want to pick up the handle first. Oh, clever. I can call the dorm room. Can I call 911? Nope, not gonna do that. I can't deny that I'm a childish person, but come on. I mean, we need help. Alright. No crank calling 911. It's illegal. Don't do that. Let's go scold the police now. to the sheriff station. Young cop, what do we got here? Flag, pictures, photos, bulletin board, fax machine. All right, young hey, cop. Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Let's look at the Some young cop. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Yeah, we probably went to high school with this guy. Let's see. Or elementary school. Hi. I don't, don't know when we Hello. left. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. 
My reputation precedes me, in a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on, it's me, Lenny! Lenny Marks! Pretend to recognize him or just admit. I have no clue. No, let's pretend. Let's be nice. Oh, right. Lenny! Long time no see, buddy. Ain't that the truth? I suppose you came to town for the funeral? Yep, what do you that's know? right. Sorry for your loss. Joseph was a great guy before, well, you know. Yeah, he really was. So, uh, anyway, what can I do for you today? Tell me about the you know, the well you know. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Yeah, so this incident was 14 years prior, and we hadn't seen our grandparents for 15, so it happened literally right after we left. Can I smoke a pack of cigarettes? Okay. Oh, I can just show it. I can't smoke them. All right, let's... Well, uh, gotta go. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go see the sheriff. We're just gonna sit ourselves right down Hello, in front Sheriff. of him. Sheriff, do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Uh, okay. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Wait. What? Hey, check I out my cigarettes. I don't want to show him that. Oh. Okay, fine. Please report. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They are official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. What hell state are we in? Come on, Sheriff, what's the big deal? But I'm family, doesn't that count for something? Yo, Lenny! A little help here. Yeah, we're not gonna get him involved yet. Uh... But I'm family! Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Someone's got their sassy pants on. Holy crap. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Oh, it works on Lenny? Yo, Lenny! Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? I think so. Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. <sighs> Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Have a feeling we're gonna get arrested at some point. Lenny. Can you get us the report? Can we woo you? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. No, we just did that. Okay, let's go back. All right. Well, gotta go. See ya. No, we're just going here. We're not. Oh, we're leaving. But just looks like talking isn't gonna right. help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. I wonder what's behind those doors. And this is where we get arrested. Here we go. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Oh my god, Lenny, seriously? Yo, 
Yo, bum. Hey. What? I can't hear you. Thanks. That was getting annoying. Problem. Let's see. Let's, uh... Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. Yeah, I know, but maybe they have papers. Just go in. Key. Uh, a key. Hey. Hi there. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. Nice. What? <sighs> Deal. What? Good. He fell so, for that? <laughs> uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Let's get those files. This is really gutsy with the sheriff right there. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. 81, 11.40 p.m. An individual was encountered on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes wide open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, complete with tape. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. Okay, so that's 1140 at 1225 that same night picked up mrs. rain and brought her along with mr. rain to the emergency room at the community clinic the next morning at 8 a.m. upon routine inspection of the patrol car a tape recorder was found discarded on the back seat filed as evidence in locker number five all right gotta get that tape recorder or the tape brother hmm I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. Nice. I'm impressed with her file looking, looking up files back there. That was really fast. They're probably organized by year or something simple like that. Okay, let's go back in here. Lanny, I need you to do something. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You my God. Lenny is terrible. There's just nobody back here with a uh, bum. All right, got it. Nice. Yo, bum, did we pay you? Probably not. Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. I got you. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't what? mean it was any less traumatic, <laughs> mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. He is a smooth okay, talker. Okay, gotta go. Okay. See ya. See you. I hope not. That either implies we get locked up or, uh... All right, I think we're good here. Let's, uh... Should we go to Lenny and show him that? No, it's not. Let's just get out here. Nope. Get out. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? Ask that already, Lenny. Oh, what a terrible cop. All right, I think next time when we return, we're going to go back to the Rain residence and take a listen to that tape. I think that's where we're supposed to go. So, 
I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the first episode, and we'll continue this mystery when we return.